welcome back to the Antietam National Battlefield Burnside Bridge Loop Test. Uh, so what we have here is a loop that I've done over and over again uh, with some situations that FSD isn't very, very comfortable with in the least. Now on my drive over here, I actually did use FSD all the way up until I got to town. I stopped using it once I got here because I don't want it, I don't want to experience it until I'm on the camera with you. Um, my drive here was amazing. I pushed the button and it took me here and I did absolutely nothing. There's a little green light that shows up next to my steering wheel here and it says that means that it's watching me with the camera up here and it knows that I'm good to go. I'm, I'm monitoring what's happening. My hands are free. I'm not looking at the screen. I'm not looking at my phone. I'm paying attention. As long as that green light's on, I don't have to touch the steering wheel at all. And I didn't for a half an hour. I didn't touch the steering wheel once. I didn't have any interactions whatsoever with the car. And didn't have to use the, 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 the pedals. Nothing. It was fantastic. I absolutely loved it. It was smooth and it was... Uh, very very comfortable I am extremely impressed so far with FSD 12 4 3 so what we're gonna do is once I get down a little bit further off the hill here and I'm off the POI I believe it's right about here I can hit Burnside Bridge and it actually creates this loop right and this is my test loop and what I'll do is I'll come to a stop. There's nobody behind me, so don't worry. I'm not blocking traffic. The only person that's up here is that guy that was just behind, that just parked in front of us. It's ready to go. I can push the button. And what we have to test here is it doesn't like these unmarked roads. There are some line markings and have been seeing some phantom center lines. Uh, it doesn't like that unmarked road. It doesn't like the fact that these are, except for right here, these are one-way unmarked roads. It doesn't like narrow, no shoulders. And then as we go through town, it actually kicks into like, you know, I'm doing a great job and we want to pay attention to how it's reacting in town. And then it comes back in the park. And actually today, there's a section of road that's being worked on. And then there's the bridge. There's a bridge, and we'll see it here in a moment. There's a bridge that has we have the right of way, but the car, in some cases, have even come to a complete stop and not moved at all. So we'll see what happens, and we'll talk through it. So hit the button, hands free. Uh, it is sitting still. I'm not sure why it's not moving yet. It's kind of nudging itself forward. It's, I think it's very unsure of its situation right now. But why am I starting in the middle of the road, perhaps, maybe? I'm gonna give it a nudge. I'm gonna give it a bigger nudge. And they were off. Okay. I think it was very confused as to why we were starting in the middle of the road. So there's some parking spaces off to the right. We seem to be following the center line that it is, you know, picked up on. Now we are in a national park, so there's a car in the middle of the road. And this is an interesting situation because that is on the apex of a turn. The car should, our car should slow down. That's very sketchy. That is so ridiculously sketchy. Now we need, we need to move over big time. So it's in the center of the road. And this is, again, a problem with FSD and unmarked roads. If you've watched any other content on YouTube about FSD, so here comes a car here, we need to move over. And we are, very slowly, not very well. That guy was very confused. I mean, we were within the lines. Like if you can see the dividers, we were on our side, but we could have been even further over. Um, FSD does not like unmarked roads. And to be honest with you, that's probably one of the worst performances I've seen through this unmarked road, simply because it stayed center for way too long. Usually it would get back over, but it was centered for way too long. So this is the bridge here on our right that I was mentioning earlier. When we come back through this way or, uh, later, we're gonna have our right of way. And in some cases, the car just stops and sits there. We'll see what happens today. Uh, really natural off that stop sign. We usually get a slowdown here. This is about what I was expecting, uh, but it's going fairly smoothly. Sometimes we get, you know, really jerky acceleration and braking, really jerky steering. So far, very smooth, uh, but slow, which is okay. Again, it's an unmarked uh, road with no shoulder, so to speak of. This is, a, this is exactly the behavior that I was expecting. It usually slows down for these hills for whatever reason, even though it can see perfectly fine. And that, yep, this is, this is exactly 
how it's behaved in the past. We've had on later versions of 11, it did this section very well, uh, almost too aggressively to be honest with you. Now it's extremely cautious. Uh, all versions that I've tested through here on, on, on the 12 branch have been extremely cautious through here. We're moving over to the right um, and now we're slowing even further. I, I'm not sure if it's the statues, the walls, or what is causing FSD to be so cautious, but there's no indicator other than the chevrons on here saying that we're going to slow down. But there's no indication as to why. So you see this, these slow down chevrons? That shouldn't be there. That shouldn't happen. There's no reason for our, our car to be slowing down in these situations. So FSD, again, very unsure of itself through these types of roads. These are one way, unmarked, no shoulders, and FSD hates them. Now this is the speed that I would normally drive at, right around 23, 24 miles an hour through here. <clears throat> now these corners, and there's a small bridge here, a small stone bridge, uh, these have had some issues in the past as well, so we'll see what happens. Sometimes we come to a complete stop, sometimes we get way too close to the bridge. So the chevrons again for slowing, no reason. And there's a bump, but it's not enough to slow down to you know, 10 miles an hour or whatever. Uh, and this gate, sometimes the car will basically stop. That was actually handled fairly well. Uh, better than some search, some versions, but now, yep, we got it. Phantom Chevron braking there for no reason. Again, it's these unmarked one-way roads, and, and FSD hates it. Now, this stop sign here is really far back from the road, so let's see where the car actually decides to stop. Does it stop at the sign? Okay, now is it going to creep to the line? It needs to move forward a little bit so we can see what's going to the left. Now we can see perfectly clear. There's nobody coming. It should have gone already. A little bit slow through there. I, I would have been a lot sooner to, to go. Now this is a 25 mile an hour road and it's getting up there. So that's way too fast. So we should slow back down. Yeah, I, this is, it's way too fast. 34, 35, you know, we need to be going, you know, max I'd be going 31 through here. It needs to slow down. Uh, it actually sped up a little bit there. I don't, you can't, it didn't, yeah, see? <laughs> it needs to slow down. So that's a problem. Um, especially when you're by yourself. I, I understand if you're keeping up with traffic, but when you're by yourself, um, sticking closer to the speed limit would be a, a, a better idea. Uh, I'm not sure why um, there are auto, I guess it's going off of trending, how fast people usually drive through here, but when you're by yourself, it should stick closer to the speed limit, in my opinion. All right, going through town, we've never had any issues through here except for uh, some longer stops than usual at this particular stop sign. Uh, in the past versions, when it couldn't see to the right uh, clearly, it would, it would sit here for a very long time. That one was handled perfectly, exactly how I would have done it. good amount of space to the cars on the right hand side here and the only other time I've had a problem at this stop was when a car was parked only about two or three spaces up from our left here and uh, the person was actually working on their car and FSD was very confused as to what was going on because there was a person and a car right next to the intersection had no idea what to expect it, it didn't do it very well but this time absolutely perfect it's so smooth and so natural. There was no hard braking. There was no jerkiness. It was extremely um, natural and, and human-like, and um, no problems whatsoever. You know, no notes other than uh, good job. Now this is about as fast as I would ever go through here, and um, now that there's somebody behind me going faster, it actually speeds up. Um, people out in this way, out this way, drive very fast. Uh, out on the country roads, they typically drive 10 to 15 miles an hour over the speed limit. I'm more of a 5 to 6 mile an hour over that kind of guy, so um, the auto speed setting helps out um, relieve some of that uh, road rage, I think, because I typically drive like right about 5 to 6 miles an hour over. Alright, so we're 
so we get a 35 increase. The guy behind me is already going 40 something miles an hour, so we'll speed up. And he's put his turn signal on like now, please. That's gonna anger this person. Yeah, this guy's gonna get mad at me. But it's not my fault that you were going 55 miles an hour in a, in a 35. You know, you will get over it. All right. So now we're back at the uh, at the battlefield. The gates have caused a confusion in the past. I didn't have to touch anything. So that is very weird, uh, very unnatural slowdown. Uh, if there had been somebody behind me, I would have I would have pushed through that. Roads being worked on. Uh, didn't phase the car, but we're still going very, very slow. There's no reason for this uh, speed. Um, again, coming into the park was very unnaturally slow. Uh, if there, there is, there is nobody behind us. Uh, you know, I, I could put the camera on or not, but that like we we have no nobody one nobody behind us, so there's no no worries to you know push through. I'm just gonna let the car do what it wants to do. But so far. Very, very slow, um, unsure of itself on these unmarked roads. Uh, I mean, they are mapped. They're not, um, it's not an unknown quantity. They're, they're marked as one way on the map. So it's just FSD unsure of how to handle the situations. So it's gonna run up to this, this crest watch. It's gonna get the chevrons and it's gonna slow down again. Oh, see, the chevrons slowing down. Uh, didn't slow down quite as much as before, but so now here is the biggest problem on this loop. Usually, it's this bridge. Uh, well, the bridge and the two-lane road, but this bridge has caused some very interesting bugs in the past, where it will come to a stop and not go. We have the right of way; we can just roll through this. Ooh, very hard braking for that transition. Granted, it looks a lot harder than it actually is. It's a very smooth transition. And again, we have the right of way. It should just roll through. And it does. Okay, so I think it's the first time it's ever actually rolled through that smoothly. Like I've had a roll through before, but it was never that smooth. And now we're back to these quasi unmarked roads and then Chevron slowdowns. We're literally on the center line. Now we're over the center line. So I, like my wheels are basically hitting each one of these yellow dots as we go over it. Now I'm over into the oncoming lane. Center dot, center dot, over. Okay, well now we're in the lane. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm wondering if, I wonder if hardware four cameras would do a better job of, of keeping that lane than these hardware three cameras because they are visible. Those dots are visible. And it will pick them up from time to time and, and create a phantom center lane. But there we are. Uh, no crazy interactions. Uh, it was very hesitant to get started. Um, remember, it kind of sat. I don't know why it's putting the turn signal on there. That's very strange. Uh, it sat at the top of the hill here for no reason. Um, I, it was confused as to why it wasn't going. All right, we turn turn signal on again, which is incorrect. We are not going to turn left because that's a one way. We cannot, I, I will not let it turn in there. That's a one way. It's never done this before. Figure it out. No, thank you. Okay, figured it out in the end. Figured out that that was a one way. What I'm gonna do is actually put it into a parking space and initialize navigation from the parking space and see if it actually goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. And I'm gonna choose this parking space, let it park. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll initiate the navigation from the parking space to see if it does that same hesitation at the hill. I, I don't think it will. I think as soon as I hit go, it'll probably um, just immediately go and navigate. I love how smooth and and quickly it changes from drive to reverse when it's parking itself. It's it's such a better experience than it ever has been in the past. All right, so what I'm going to do is actually um, I'll just tell it to take us down here, right? Which is down the hill. And 
if I put it into gear, we'll wait for the navigation ready, or the, the FSD ready. So once I hit that, once I hit the button, it should start going. So if it does, and I'll wait for this car who's coming up from the left here. If it does, I'm thinking that the reason that we had that hesitation the be excuse me, at the beginning was because we had started it on the hill in a really awkward position. If it hesitates again, I'm not sure. I, I have done this um, on my way here. I was at a store, I was parked in a parking lot, I hit the button, and as soon as I hit the button, it pulled out of the parking space, navigated the parking lot, got on the road, and took me here. I didn't touch the wheels, I didn't touch the wheel or the pedals a single time in that half hour drive to get here. Um, so if I hit this and it's good to go, then it was just some weird awkwardness of being in the middle of the road. So um, what I'll do is I'll sign off with this. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, catch me on the next one and let's see what happens. Yeah, it was just some weird awkwardness. So there you go. Um, FSD at uh, Antietam National Battlefield. Some improvements, some of the same. I wouldn't say much regression except for this particular part of the road is very awkward now where it's kind of right on the center lane. But I'm used to that on unmarked roads. There's a lot of unmarked roads around here. So it is what it is. It's an FSD problem. Um, once they figure out unmarked roads, then uh, I guess we'll be in a better position. So anyway, again, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.